Quarter to six, there's a local nonprofit expanding its vision this year, making transportation by bike accessible for everybody. Josh Ryder is live this morning in Madison, somewhere among all those bikes. Josh, what do you have for us? Good morning, guys. Uh, just riding around the warehouse here. Don't mind me. I got the trusty old Schwinn. Take a look at this puppy this morning. Of course, one of many bikes here at Bikes for Kids Wisconsin here on the south side in their new location since we last spoke to them. Chrissy Goforth Hi. is up early with us this morning. Chrissy, good morning to you. Hi, morning. What do you think? I look pretty good you on this, You look baby. fantastic yeah. on this. So yes. this is one of so many bikes that you guys ah. have here in your wonderful big warehouse. Isn't you guys so are no cool? longer at East Town mall like last time which yeah. was fun we got yes. to ride around the mall that was fun <laughs> but so much of a better setup for you yeah here. it's great you know we have space and we you know we have a ton of bikes in here we have about 1600 bikes in here right now wow. so we have the space to have all that here so so it's a lot of folks great. yeah watching this morning might be like wait what's with the name you guys have a brand new yeah, name for 2024 absolutely so you know when we were free bikes for kids madison we were primarily serving dane county and we really just had our bike giveaway program and so now we have have an array of programs including our bike mechanics educational program with middle school youth so you know we, we're nurturing our future bike mechanics and um, so it's just a better fit for us with and this new you name. you guys saw the need I mean the need is far and wide here across not only the 608 but across the state oh absolutely and you know we hear from folks all over um, in Baraboo there's a cheese factory and they reached out and said our whole workforce is Latino and they don't have transportation. Can you help us? And so we gave them like 76 bicycles. So, wow. you know, it's it's that kind of stuff. So we're stepping up to serve the need. Um, public transit doesn't exist in rural communities. Um, and even here in Madison, where we do have public transit, transportation is an absolute critical basic need. And without it, you struggle to survive because you can't get to work, you can't get to school, you can't get groceries. So um, transportation's where it's at. And for some families that maybe might not have the means to be able to provide bikes for their kids, Absolutely. I mean, it's that crucial part of growing up, right? Like you gotta have a bike. Absolutely, and through our work, we found that if you don't have a bike as a kid, you're actually not really gonna have an interest in having a bike as an adult. And you know, this is part of also, you know, we're in experiencing climate change. And so anything we can do to reduce our carbon emissions is huge. And then we're also recycling and refurbishing all these bicycles that would go in our landfill. So that's huge as well. And we are so lucky to live in such an amazing community with so oh many gosh. amazing trails and the lakes and the trees. I mean, everything out there to be able to really explore what makes Wisconsin so great. Absolutely, I often say some of the best views of this city are on those bike paths. I, uh, for sure. I you mean, know, like, that's like, honestly, when you think about that and getting out and getting outside, getting the fresh air, especially over the last few years. Yeah. So if people are interested in helping you out. Yeah. Uh, what is the best way for them to do so here this year? Yeah, you know, right now we're in our refurb cycle. So we need volunteers and you don't have to have experience. So that's huge. Um, donations are huge. So um, it takes a lot of elbow grease, a lot of staff time and a lot of parts to refurbish all these bikes and provide these helmets and lights and locks so financial donations are huge as well yeah from the vintage ones like this one to some of the newer ones even e-bikes we'll talk about a little bit yeah. later you guys are seeing a little bit of everything right we now. really are i love it christy cool. thank you thank so much you. appreciate your time here this morning guys i don't know i might just have to keep you trusty old schwinn if my dad's watching tv this morning he's a big <laughs> schwinn believer so he's probably thinking boy that's a nice one i even got to show you the seat that i'm sitting on this morning it's got the nice s on it and everything i mean look at that chrome they don't make them like this anymore chris and leah they don't they we'll really send don't. it back to you guys you don't take that out in the salt though you'd ruin that in a second you wipe it down right no, away you, you did yeah. that's a summer bike right there Josh Beauty. Brighton. big time thank you very much Josh is always looking for inspirational stories to share. If you have one, let him know. He's at Josh Brighter TV on social media or email him at in the 608 at WISCTV.com.